June 22, 22nd, 9.51 a.m. District Court Defendant Lobby Number 3. Und damit, bam, Leute, und herzlich willkommen zurück zu Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney, Justice for All. Ja, wir sind wieder zurück und ähm, äh, ich muss direkt mal anmerken, dass ich äh, noch nicht so ganz zufrieden bin mit meinem Audio-Arrangement, äh, wie man es auch nennen möchte. Äh, mir ist aufgefallen, dass ich oft irgendwie zu nah am Mikrofon bin oder dass ich eventuell auch zu direkt ins Mikrofon spreche. Ich habe das Mikrofon jetzt mal ein bisschen umgestellt, so ein bisschen zur Seite, ja, dies, das. Ich weiß nicht, ob es gut wird, ich hoffe es. Aber es sollte definitiv so ein bisschen den äh, direkten Kontakt mit dem Mikrofon so ein bisschen verhindern, hoffe ich. Und äh, also weniger unangenehme Geräusche hervorrufen, wie es zum Beispiel bei dem lieben äh, Director Hottie passiert ist. Ähm, ja, wir werden sehen, ob es klappt oder nicht. Ja. Und wir sind jetzt wieder zurück hier im schönen Gerichtssaal in der Lobby. Äh, und im letzten Part hat äh, mir die Theorie aufgestellt, dass äh, Morgan Fay, die Tante, ähm, äh, ja, so ein bisschen dahinter steckt und mit äh, Ini Mini als Komplizin diesen Mord ausgeführt haben solle. Ja, ich würde sagen, ich springe einfach rein. <lacht> um, Nick? Ja? Yeah. Did you know that Von Karma's daughter is only 18? Just like me? Um, yeah, why? I was just thinking about how strong she is. I mean, she's been in Germany all this time by all by herself, and she's so grown up. Yeah, and I'm sure she felt a lot of pressure from her father's reputation. And then you look at me and, well... I'm the daughter of the master, but I'm still just a little girl. And on top of that, I'm the suspect in the murder trial. Um, but I think you're really strong too, Maya. For all you've gone through. Das ist wahr. Good morning. The two of you look like you're doing well today. I'm happy for you. Hey, morning, Pearly. You'll be safe today, Mystic Maya. Uh-huh. Well, what do you mean? My mother is coming today to show her support. Y yeah. Yeah, that's right, Pearly. Ja, die, die, die ist ja irgendwie verhaftet worden, ne? Wegen Verdacht des Mordes. Ähm. Äh, wobei, ich, ich merke gerade, ich habe Schwachsinn äh, erzählt am Anfang. Mir verdächtig nicht Morgan. Ähm. Ja doch, doch, sie verdächtig mal. Ich bin ein bisschen durcheinander. Es ist wieder ein Weichen her. Ja, ihr, ihr wisst, dies, das. Es ist immer ein Jahr dazwischen, bis ich die nächste Folge aufnehme. Man, man kennt's. Und, ähm, ja doch. Okay, ähm, äh, äh, hey, Pearls. Uh, yes, Mr. Nick? Um, do you think you could do me a big favor? Could you channel me today? Too? Uh, huh? I was sort of hoping to sit in the audience today and watch. Please, it's very important to me. I don't feel conf confident enough uh, without her help. Mr. Nick, th that's enough. You can't show weakness in front of the person you love. P -p Pearly, not, not this again. Please, can you do this for us, Pearls? Um, all right, I I'll do it. I'll do it for Mystic Maya's sake. See you later then. And if you do, to your alone time. Oh, thank goodness. Uh, Nick? This way, Pearls won't be able to see today's trial. What do you mean? What's going on? Ja, yeah. Morgan ist ja unter Beschuss momentan und das könnte nicht gerade gut enden. Von daher, smarter move, Phoenix. Wenn die das nicht sehen muss. Wir sind wieder im Courtroom Number 2. Ich, ich merke ich merk mir die Nummer nie, ob wir immer im Nummer 2 sind oder nicht. Ich, ich, ich denke es einfach immer. Letztendlich trollt mich das Spiel einfach und wir sind doch immer in einem anderen Raum. Und ich denke einfach nur, dass es immer dasselbe ist. Aber es, es sind die wichtigen Fragen im Leben, ihr kennt's. Okay, jetzt zum Trial. Um, <coughs> Court is now in session for the trial of Maya Fay. The fence is ready, Your Honor. Let's start already. 
Mr. Phoenix right? I look forward to tonight's news with great joy. The image uh, of your defeated face will be transmitted all over the world. All over the world, huh? Sounds like you've made quite a name for yourself, Phoenix. Don't be foolish. You foolish fool wearing the foolishly foolish clothes. The famous one is me. I'm the prodigy, who has never lost a case since becoming prosecutor five years ago. Naturally, the world's eyes are on me as I conduct my first trial in this country. Aha, uh -huh. that's nice, Miss von Karma. <laughs> Glad to see you're in such good spirits today, Miss Faye. Uh, it's true what they say. Women really are scary when they fight. <laughs> now then, a very interesting theory was presented during yesterday's session. <clears throat> that the defendant could have left the channeling chamber, correct? Yes, and this key is proof of that. This key, the only key to the channeling chamber, was not where it should have been. Your Honor, I would like to say some uh, one thing before we begin. Uh, all right, let's hear it. The prosecution has determined that from the time of the murder to the time of arrest, the defendant did indeed leave the room at one point. What? Mm -hmm. But, Miss von Karma, then how do you explain this picture? Are you saying then that the person in this picture is not the defendant? I never said that it wasn't the defendant. Th th then what is the meaning of this? What does this mean? <laughs> Moin, das hatten wir schon. <laughs> <clears throat> All I am saying is that Maya Fey, after killing the victim, exited the room. And I believe that it, uh, that is when she dropped this key. Can you substantiate your claim? Isn't that what I'm here for? The prosecution would like to call the defense Aunt Morgan Fay to the stand. Just as suspected, Aunt Morgan. Poor Mia. She seems really torn by this. Witness, name and occupation. My name is Morgan Fay. And I am a spirit medium, in a manner of speaking. Uh, I'm sorry, but what do you mean, in a manner of speaking? Uh, ah! I don't think anyone really cares. Now then, after the murder took place, you kept watch over the defendant, correct? Yes, that is correct. I performed the spirit severing technique on Mystic Maya then. S -s spirit severing technique? A technique to remove a spirit from my body and send it back to the other world, that is. Y yes, th that is. Mm. You, be quiet. Now, witness. Something happened while you were performing this technique, correct? Yes, that is correct. W what in the world could have... Mystic Maya, she escaped from the room. W what? That seems convenient. Dass wir das erst jetzt hören. Um, <clears throat> and here we come to the heart of the matter. Maya Fail, while in possessed while in a possessed state, managed to escape from the channeling, channeling chamber. Whew. Order, order, order! Miss Fay, please testify to discord what happened during that time. Your Honor, I will try my best. I think someone just up the aunt, uh, up the ante on this trial. Es sind so viele Frauen stehen, ich kann das nicht alles auf einmal. Please. Gibt es Ich bin so froh, wenn ich den Charge sprechen darf, ehrlich. <lacht> um, Maya's escape. After we heard the gunshots, those two broke the door, uh, uh, broke the door open and entered the chamber. 
I requested that Mr. Wright and the other lady please contact the police. A pistol was hanging from Mr. Meyer's hand and she was in a daze. Then quite suddenly she, tr she trusted, me <laughs> trusted me away from herself and escaped from the room. With great strength she hit uh, the base of my neck and I fainted in a short while. I'm afraid I have no knowledge of where she went after that. Hmm. Why have you hidden this until now? I I did not wish to cause more trouble for Mystic Maya. However, I must correct uh, falsities when they arise. That's right. She is simply correcting a falsity, Mr. Phoenix. Right? Why is she making it a point to stab at to, to take a stab at me? Never mind. Mr. Wright, your cross examination, please. My aunt is a very uh, is a very smart and sly person. It's going to be hard for us to find a crack in her testimony. Okay. <clears throat> Have you had the gunshots? Just to broke down door. Oh, genau. Darüber reden wir nicht. Ja, die die Rechnung ist immer noch offen. Vielleicht gerät sie in Vergessenheit. <clears throat> um. I request that Mr. Ryan and the other lady please contact the police. Ja. Äh, ups, das war der falsche Knopf. Ich muss mich kurz kratzen. Urgh. Geil. Oh. Was it really necessary to have two people do something so simple as call the police? If there was a possibility of escape, then one of us should have stayed behind. Hmm. Yes, that is a very good point. At the time, I myself was a little confused. On top of which, there was another. Uh, another what, madam? Oh, it's nothing. No need to concern yourself. I want to hear the end of that sentence. Ja, natürlich. And there was another reason you wanted both of us out of that room, wasn't there? Ja, schlürf du nur weiter dein Kerzenwachs oder was auch immer das ist. You must testify. Why did you chase us out of the room? I simply did not wish for there to be more victims. Hmm. The lives of both good, of the good sir and the, the camera woman may be, may be in danger. Ich kann nicht lesen, Mann. Ey. <laughs> Beruhig dich. Einatmen. Okay. Here's what I thought to myself. Well, that was very noble of you, Miss Fay. This is bad. Now people have a good impression of her and a bad one of us. Looks like she caught us uh, napping. That's my aunt for you. Are you satisfied, satisfied now, Mr. Fe Mr. Mr. Phoenix, right? <clears throat> Mr. Wright? Miss Fay, please continue. This was hanging from Maya's hand. During our investigation, you stated that you struck the defendant on the head and this strike caused Maya to lose consciousness. Do you stand by the statement? I'm afraid I don't. The statement I gave you was a lie. Huh? But, but, but why would you lie about something like that? It is very painful for me to say this, however. The witness was lying to cover the defendant. She was covering for Maya. Uh, ja, also wenn wenn die gute Francie hier schon rein screamt, dann screamen wir auch rein. So you were covering for the defendant. Well, yes, it was only later that I was informed of what had occurred. That the rene renegade Mystic Maya had done something very unexpected. Something unexpected? What, pray tell, did she... Ah! The witness didn't and couldn't have seen what happened. If you want to know what this unexpected thing was, there is always later. Yes, very well. Uh, why does it suddenly feel like there's a rock in the pit of my stomach? 
Now witness, continue with what happened. Hmm. Quite suddenly, she thrusted me away from herself and escaped the room. Okay. Was it really that easy for her to escape from you? I'm ashamed to admit such a thing, however, yes. But you are physically larger and stronger than the defendant. There is no way she could have escaped from you so easily. Has you forgotten already, Mr. Phoenix Wright? What about this picture? Remember that at the time uh, the defendant was not physically my affair. Ah! Hmm. Crying old is such a mysterious thing. Trust me, I know firsthand. Basically, Mystic Maya's body was still that of the nurse she had called. But if she had run away, wouldn't you have given chase right away? Well, yes, I would have. However... Du magst das Wort however, habe ich das Gefühl, ne? Um, with great strength, she hit the base of my neck and I fainted for a short while. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You fainted? I became dizzy and then collapsed onto the floor. How long were you unconscious? I, I'm not sure. About 10 minutes, perhaps? Hm. <coughs> Hätten wir das nicht mitbekommen, irgendwie? Hm. Naja. Uh, and the defendant almost, almost certainly went somewhere in that time. Happy? Witness, elaborate on uh, that point for us. I'm afraid I have no knowledge of where she went after that. Is that because you were unconscious? Why, yes. Great. Well, now what? Question further. Yeah, ja, pfff. Wir haben ja sonst nicht viel. So, while you were unconscious, you have absolutely no idea where the defendant went. I would think that's obvious, good sir. If that's true. And now can you know for sure that the defending left the channeling chamber at all? Mm -hmm. Now that you mention it, I have to wonder myself. It's true that the witness uh, is not able to confirm this. But the key word here is this witness. What do you mean by that? It means she has another witness up her sleeve, that's what. It looks like Miss Van Karma is ready to move on to her next witness. Oh. Okay. That's an... <coughs> that's an... <laughs> Plötzlich uh, Schlaganfall beim Judge. Um. <laughs> that's enough. From what I can tell, there is nothing wrong with this witness's testimony. Gut, denn ich habe auch nichts bemerkt. <laughs> Whew. Um. And from what she has said, we can establish that Maya Faye did leave the chamber. I hope this isn't going to come back and bite us in the butt. <laughs> he said butt. <laughs> now let's uh, take the next logical step and ask, where did uh, the defendant go after leaving the channeling chamber? Yes, yes. That is exactly what... Uh, ah! Be quiet, you. Now then... What the escapee had done was she had gone to speak with a certain person. She she went to speak with someone? Who, who was it? The prosecution calls Miss Inimaini, who was sleeping in the side room at the time. Inimaini? I think you can see where this is headed. Witness, name and occupation. Um, okay, so my name is like Eeny Miney. I'm like researching like parapsychology stuff at the um, university. What is this parapsychology? Um, let's see, it's like, I guess most people call it occult stuff. 
Even if that's what most people call it, I can say I understand what that means. Then I suggest you go home and research it yourself. Uh, yes, sir. Now then, Miss Miney. After the murder took place, you spoke of the defendant, Maya Fay. Is this correct? Um, well, mm, like, I guess. If that's the case, then let's hear your testimony. That is all right, isn't it, your honor? Uh, yes, sir. For the love of all things, go uh, good, your honor, have some spine for my sake. After the murder. Moment, ich gönn mir mal kurz ein Schlückchen. Oh, muss auch mal sein. Einfach mal gönnen. Gönnt mir doch bitte, Leute. <clears throat> like, when the channeling started, I was like sleeping in the side room. Like, a little later, someone came into the room, like, really suddenly. <laughs> it was like, oh my god, totally my sister. I like, hadn't seen her in like, so long, I was so happy in like, a sad way. My sister, she like, told me something like, totally terrible. Okay, und, und was? <laughs> now hold your horses, young lady. You're saying the person that entered was your sister. Don't you mean the defendant, Maya Fey? Really now, your honor. Maya Fey was still in the middle of the channeling at that time. Uh, are you saying that the spirit was the spirit of this witness's sister? Yes, Mimi Miney. She was a nurse at Dr. Gray's clinic. Oh, well, this is... Witness? Like, yeah? In your testimony you mentioned a terrible thing. Why don't you tell the court what this terrible thing was? I'm sure we'd love to hear about it. Um, why, do I totally, like, really have to? Of course. M Miss Miney, please. My sister, like, this is what she said to me. <clears throat> that was no accident. I was drugged with sleeping pills. I was murdered by that person. Also das Intro. Okay. Also das müsste ja dann Ini sein hier auf dem Foto, ne? Uh, that's why it, it, it's only fair, isn't it? Ini. Wait. Ja. Doch. Ich war gerade verwirrt. <lacht> um. She took her revenge. Are you sure that's what she said? Yes. There, are you satisfied, Your Honor? I still can't believe it. I can't believe that a spirit would go so far as to use a medium to get revenge. It is a bit hard to swallow. However, all the evidence and testimonies point to this as the truth. The end. What do you think, Mr. Wright? It certainly seems like all the loose ends are accounted for. This... This testimony just now... Was it all made up? Was it just one huge lie? Of course it was, Phoenix. Mia, yeah, what do you mean? It's well constructed, but... That's all it is. But even the most well-spun lies can be undone. We can do it, Phoenix. Let's find that one loose thread and unwind this tapestry of lies. Your Honor, there is room for doubt, so the defense will cross-examine this witness. 
We believe that our cross-examination will reveal the real truth behind this murder. Yet again, the foolish fool spouts out more foolishly foolish drabble. I wonder if you'll make this one more entertaining than the last. Okay. <clears throat> Was that he normal gesagt? <laughs> um, okay, like when... Ah, yeah, that's that she slept and then came her sister. Ne? Um, I was sleeping in the side. We pressen alles. We pressen die richtig durch die Rolle. Also, uh, um, was that because of your um, sesame allergy? Was it? Like that's right. I like think there were sesame seeds like in the lunch they served that day. I had this like premonition that it was going to totally be a seedy day. Yes, indeed. Hmm. I see. Am I the only one who missed the boat here? Anyway, so you were taking a nap. Did some something happen while you were sleeping? A little later, someone came into the room. Really suddenly. Do you know the time? Um, uh, like maybe a little before 11 a.m. Something like that, I think. I 11 a.m.? Yeah, like, my stomach is totally ready for, like, food. Uh, no, I think you misunderstood me. I'm not asking what time it is now. I mean, what time was it when the someone came into the room? Oh, God. <laughs> oh, so, like, that's what you meant. Like, you should have been more, like, clear about it. Sorry, my bad. No, it's okay, like, it's really. Ja, und? <laughs> That's it? Why do you stop mid-sentence? Did I? So, like, what was I talking about again? Never mind. Witness about this person who entered the side room. Oh my god, totally my sister! Oh. Are you absolutely sure? I guess... You guess? Was it or was it not your sister who entered? Like, I don't know... I mean, like, I totally don't know your sister at all, <laughs> Mr. Smith. First off, my name is not Mr. Smith, second... I'm an only child. Hmm. But more than that, she's managed to mess up the question with her answer. Well, Mr. Wright, the defense rests. Well, that was a colossal waste of our time. Now then, witness, how did you feel when you saw Miss uh, Mimi Miney? Haven't seen her in like so long, it was, I was so happy. Sad way. Yeah, you were happy in a sad way. Yeah, like, I mean, it was my sister. But wouldn't most people react here with surprise at seeing a dead loved one alive again? Um, but like, maybe if I was like someone who didn't know about like the occult. But I like know all about the current channeling technique. The point here is, the witness immediately recognized that it was her sister. Yeah, like what she said. Also, Moment. Sie hat da gerade das Thema ein bisschen sehr schnell abgehackt. Ähm, sie wollte gerade sagen, sie wusste, dass es nicht ihre Schwester ist, sondern sie wusste, dass es jemand ist, der gechannelt wurde und die gute Franzi wollte darauf bestehen, dass sie einfach wusste, dass es ihre Schwester war. Okay, okay. Ja, vielleicht haben wir hier irgendetwas. Should I drop this line of questioning? Ja, ich, ich würde ehrlich gesagt Question Further machen. Wenn, wenn, immer wenn die Friends was reinwirft, dann ähm, muss ich auch was reinwerfen. So you really didn't think anything strange of the whole encounter? No, like. There wasn't any reason for me to, like, think anything was strange. But... 
Ow! Don't keep badgering her. You know the phrase objection? Could you try using that once in a while? <laughs> Mr. Wright, this question of what the witness felt when she saw her sister, is it really that important? Um... Ich denke nicht, dass ich Leben verliere. Es sieht zumindest nicht danach aus. Von daher verfolge ich das Thema mal weiterhin. It is very important. Ich komme zwar noch nicht drauf, was es uns bringt, wenn wir wissen, dass sie wusste, dass es nur ein gechannelter Spirit ist. Ähm Bin mir noch nicht sicher, wohin das führt. It is very important, although I haven't quite figured out what it is yet. But I've got to bluff for now and make it seem like I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> das mache ich die ganze Zeit, Phoenix. <laughs> Falls du noch nicht bemerkt hast. Wir sind auf derselben Wellenlänge, dude. Um, All right, Mr. Wright. Miss Miney, please amend your testimony. Ah, das ist was Gutes. Jetzt kriegen wir einen weiteren Satz im Testimony. Das ist immer nett. Um, like, okay, I'm like totally cool with that. Und das heißt, es war auch richtig, dass wir das gemacht haben. I wasn't like scared at all and like her costume looked totally like normal. Okay. Ah! Ah! Moment. Ich habe noch nicht fertig A gesagt. Ah! Ähm, also, ähm. Das äh, ist sehr spe spe spezifisch. Spezifisch. Ähm. Her costume looked totally normal. Ich denke nicht, Madame. Ich denke nicht. Weißt du auch, warum? Weil... Äh, da halt irgendwie so ein bisschen Tomatensauce dran war. Und ich glaube nicht, dass sie so hart gekleckert hat. Bei, bei einem Mittagessen mit Sesamkörnern. Ne? Also... Würde ich mal sagen... Das, was Phoenix gesagt hat. That was a very well spun lie, Miss Eni. Huh. What are you babbling about this time, Mr. Phoenix Wright? It's well constructed, but that's all it is. Oh, come on, Phoenix. Musst du mir als Lines clown? <laughs> Denk dir doch selber welche aus. Huh. <laughs> Stealing my lines now, are we, Phoenix? Miss Miney, may I remind you of what you said? You said that there was nothing strange about your sister's appearance. Oh, like, yeah, and... But I don't think that's what you were thinking at all. Take a look at this picture. This is a picture of the sister you met. I would think that even you would be surprised if someone appeared before you like this. The blood spray. Miss Miney, why did you not include the blood you saw in your testimony? If you are really terrifying, uh, uh, terrifying. <laughs> She's so terrifying. If you are really testifying and not lying, you would have noted it right off the bat. Uh, um. Oh, order, order. Miss Miney, what is the meaning of this? Miss Miney? I'm thinking, don't interrupt me. Um, that, ah. And what are you stammering about, Your Honor? Um, uh, well, I, uh. That witness, her personality did a complete uh, 180 there. Lots of people do that when they get on the stand, though. First of all, calm yourself, witness. Like, I'm sorry, I like, didn't mean to snap. Now, hurry up with the testimony. If you please. Uh, the judge still looks a little shaken up. A lot of help he's going to be. After the murder part two. Like, the side room was like kinda dark, you know? So like, the costume is like purple, right? The blood totally blended right in. 
And I like prostituted my sister. It wasn't like right to do something like that. Wait, and I like persuaded my sister. It wasn't like right to do something like that. Check the Satz gerade nicht. Egal. And then like I took my sister to the channeling chamber. Okay. Weshalb? Hmm. Hmm. Yes, now I see. And you have given us a clear reason for why you didn't notice the blood. You think? Like, <laughs> thanks, Gramps. Uh-huh. Are you satisfied, Mr. Wright? Moment kurz. Sorry, kurzer Cut. Habe ich die Gelegenheit direkt genutzt und was getrunken? <lacht> Smooth. Um, <clears throat> all right, I guess not. Very well, you may question the witness. Okay. <clears throat> so dark, you know. Mm -hmm. Natürlich. Really, because I thought it was pretty bright inside that room. Don't push your subjective opinions onto this court. Like, that's right. Um, excuse me, but how is my statement any more subjective than Miss Miney's? <coughs> ich stecke mir gerade irgendwas im Hals, Mensch. <coughs> oh, war ein Stück Corona. <laughs> Aber keine Sorge, jetzt ist es raus. Um, you are such a hopeless cause, witness. You may feel free to ignore uh, this little, this trite little man. Like, okay. Uh, can't breathe. Let me out of here. Hast du auch Corona, Phoenix? Oh man, that's that's rough, buddy. Um, so like the costume is like purple. The blood totally blended right in. Hmm. You didn't see the blood? Like, yeah. But she must have had the gun with her at the time as well. Uh, that's um. Are you going to tell me next that you didn't notice the gun either? I like totally didn't. All I was looking at was like her face. Hmm. Continue. Uh, I like persuaded my sister. It wasn't like right to do something like that. Ich check den Satz eben nicht. And, and what was your sister, Miss uh, Mimimini, like at the time? Well, she was like totally flipped out because she just shot Dr. Gray. But I think like she knew. She like said she did something really bad. And like she said, uh, she said she wanted to go with me to like apologize to Miss Morgan. Did me miss? Spirit really say all that to you? Also, also die ist zu ihr gegangen und wollte dann hat dann ein Schuldgefühl und wollte dann wieder zurückgehen, hä? Like yeah, ich blick noch nicht ganz durch da. Um, I took my sister to the channeling chamber. Was her sister calm by that time? Like, I guess so. I guess maybe, like, taking her revenge on Dr. Greylight made her feel a lot better. I'd like to feel a lot better too, Mr. Phoenix Wright. The sooner the better. He says with her whipped at the ready. And like, Miss Morgan was the only one in the channeling chamber, you know? May I ask you one more thing, Miss Miney? Like, sure. Was there anything you found strange, unusual, or just out of place? Something out of place? Uh, like, when do you mean? Uh, when? Um, when you... <clears throat> when you were in the side room, uh, when you were going to the crime scene, when you arrived at the crime scene. Something strange. 
Um, hmm. When you arrived at the crime scene, anything strange? Probiasma. <clears throat> I'm talking about when you arrived at the channeling chamber, of course. Um, like, no, nothing strange. What should I do? Press harder, leave or be. Ich press mal. Think harder, I know you can remember something. <clears throat> I, like, totally can't. Just give up already, Mr. Phoenix, right? I wonder if I put too much faith in his ability to anything with that brain. It's no good, I can't find anything wrong. Felix, the judge believes this, uh, this testimony. If you don't find some sort of hitch in her statement, he'll end the trial, I know. I don't know, Felix, he'll end the trial, I know. We have to give it another shot. It doesn't matter how many times we listen, we can't give up. Hmm, ich will nochmal zurück zum letzten. Und dann nehme ich eine andere Auswahl. Um, something strange. When? When you were in the side room? War da irgendwas Stranges? Irgendwas mit der Box? Going to the crime scene? Oh, nee, ich hab's. Okay. Okay, ähm. Ich glaube, ich... Ich glaube, ich habe eine Idee, ja. When you were going to the crime scene. I'm talking about when you were going to the channeling chamber, of course. Um, like, no, nothing strange. She answered rather quickly. Now what? Um, definitely press harder. Think harder, I know you can remember something. I, like, totally can't. That's not good enough. You have to explain yourself clearly to this court. Hmm. Do you think, Mr. Wright, that whether or not there was something odd on the way to the channeling chamber is all that important? Um, yeah, it is very important. I ask because it is very important. Not that I know where I'm going with this. Ah, ich schon, Phoenix. Keine Sorge, ich, ich, ich hab dich diesmal. <laughs> Got you back. Very well. Miss Miney, if you will, please include the statement about this in your testimony. Like, I don't care why, but okay. Um, I didn't see anyone on the way to the channeling chamber. Genau, das ist falsch, denn... Um, ist die Frage, was presse ich jetzt? Pearly war da. Da, das muss ich pressen, glaube ich. Under repair in the hallway until police came. Und die Police war ja noch nicht da. Das heißt, wenn sie zurückgelatscht ist, sollte sie eigentlich gesehen haben, wie Pearl die Vase am reparieren war. You effed up, bitch. Objection. I finally found uh, the fault, or I guess in your case, uh, the crack in your perfect lie. Wer jetzt nur die Frage, wie, was für, wie, wie gut dieser Beweis eigentlich ist. Weil eigentlich ist es einfach Aussage gegen Aussage, aber naja. <lacht> Take a look at this urn. Like urn? There are cracks. Do you see them? So, like, what does that prove? Who cares about some worn out old urn? Urn. <laughs> like, yeah, 
I already like said I didn't see like anyone on the way to the channeling chamber. I didn't like totally say anything about like an urn, did I? It looks like you still don't understand. I propose that if you had really been walking along the winding way at that time, and there was no way you could have not seen this person. Be -be -be -be. Little pearls. I'd like to introduce someone to you. This is Miss Morgan Fay's daughter, Pearl Fay. Yes, and how is this child relevant? It just so happens that the time at the time of the murder, Pearl was playing in the center garden. Oh, and she just happens to break this urn. Oh. Ah. Oh. Wait, she broke the urn. Yup. She accidentally knocked it over with her ball. <laughs> with her ball. <laughs> okay, yeah, it's been a wish. Uh, uh. And Pearl was the one who put it back together. While sitting right in the middle of the winding way. Mm -hmm. What? <laughs> Miss Miney. Huh? Pearl was there, in the winding way at the time. She was hard at work, putting the pieces of the urn back together, you see. If you couldn't see that while you were walking, I'd have to declare you legally blind. I think I have sufficiently proven one thing, Miss Miney. You are a masterful liar. Mr. Wright, you need to watch what you say. The one who needs to watch what she says, uh, what she's saying, is the witness. So, Miss Maggie, tell us the truth. Uh, about what? About what? About where you really were at the time of the murder, of course. The witness just testified about that. Th that's right. I was like sleeping in the side room. Can I really believe her? Was she really sleeping in the side room? There's no way. Your lies end here. What What do you... The witness says that during the actual murder she was asleep in the side room. And I say that's not possible, because there is clearly a contradiction here. Oh, is there? Um... A contradiction? Where is this contradiction? It's in her testimony just now. See the evidence? Help me, Mia. Hey, mach das. Einerseits will ich, den, will ich den Text sehen und andererseits, ähm, ja, help me, Mia, please. <laughs> ich weiß es nämlich gerade nicht. Um, I may have overreached uh, re uh, on this one. Is there really a contradiction somewhere? Don't worry. On the right path, Phoenix. It might be a little hard for you to see the contradiction, but it's there. So, just this once. Do you want me to help you out? Ach, das. Ich fühle mich ein bisschen wie Cheating an. Um, na, no, komm, komm, wir, wir machen es ohne. Wenn die extra fragen, dann, dann klingt es so: Ja, okay, du bist. Bist du Noob? Willst du das überspringen? Ähm. <lacht> um, well, it might be hard to see, uh, hard for me to see, but I can't just accept your help without thinking it through myself first. <laughs> That's the spirit. Give it another try. Okay. Um, ich würde halt gerne ihr Testimony noch mal sehen. Also, er hat gesagt ihr Testimony just now, oder? Um, uh, the witness says during the actual murder, she was asleep in the side room. Das ist clear contradiction, ja. Bevor ich hier zu Auswahl gehe, ich glaube, ich konnte da nicht mehr auf die Evidence zurückgehen. Also, sie sagt, sie ist am Pennen. Gibt es irgendwelchen Proof? Den Evidence. Der Key. 
Der Key beweist, glaube ich, nichts. Also der Key kam halt da rein, in dem der Spirit ist geflüchtet. Hat er da reingeworfen. Ist dann zu Ini gegangen. Das, das, klingt, das klingt akzeptabel. Und da denke ich mal, da kann nichts proven. Ähm, Floorplans Crime Scene? Nö. Ist auch noch die Frage, ob man schlafen kann, wenn eine Pistole abgefeuert wird. Aber gut, ja, kann, kann ja sein. Ähm. Eine Repair in the Hallway until Police came. Aber Moment, dann, eigentlich müsste doch Pearly. Die war ja auch da die ganze Zeit, oder? Die müsste ja eigentlich den Spirit gesehen haben, oder nicht? M muss das nicht? Also, oder bin ich gerade irgendwie dumm? Eigentlich müsste ja Pearly gesehen haben, dass die dann durchläuft. Es macht ja eigentlich gar keinen Sinn, das hat sie ja nie erwähnt. Okay, ähm. Aber wir, wir argumentieren jetzt hier gerade, warum es nicht possible ist, dass sie geschlafen hat während dem Mord. Ähm. Ich habe das Gefühl, das können wir mit der Evidence können wir das nicht beweisen. Oder? Die Clothing Box. Bullet Hole. Also die Box war im, in der Kammer. Beim Mord, weil die Box angeschossen wurde. Und nachher war sie dann wieder im Side Room. Das beweist eigentlich auch nicht. Was ist das Contradiction? Um, it's in her testimony. Also, just now. Was hat sie gesagt? Sie hat gesagt, sie hat geschlafen. Plötzlich kam jemand rein. Es war ihre Schwester und sie ging zurück. Stimmt mit dem irgendetwas nicht? Moment, hat sie... Hat es eventuell etwas damit zu tun, dass sie irgendwie weiß, dass jemand ermordet wurde? Ich, ich klicke mal in der Testimony, weil ich in, den Evident, in der Evidence konnte ich nichts finden. Earlier in der Testimony, Miss Miney, you made the following statement. And like, Miss Morgan was the only one in the channeling chamber, you know? Oh. Ja, das wusste sie eigentlich nicht, ne? Wenn sie geschlafen hat. Weil danach, danach ist ja der Spirit geflohen. In Anführungszeichen. Ähm. Ja. Das kann ich eigentlich nicht wissen. It's true that at the time both myself and Miss Hart were not there. We had gone to call the police. So, like, what does that like have to do with anything? It's very simple. Miss Miney, how did you know that fact? H how? I can see that Miss Faye was the only person in the channeling chamber. However, someone who was asleep in the side room could not have known that. Which means, Miss Miney, you did in fact go to the channeling chamber. But you didn't go there by by way of the winding way. So I'm done. But, but, but look, look at the manor guide map. If one were to go between the side room and the channeling chamber, one would have to use the winding way. Yes, that's right, Your Honor. Which is why... Which is why I ask this very important question. 
Where was the witness at the time of the murder? Um, uh, Miss Miney, please answer the question. Don't ask a question of of a baseless, baseless assumption, if you please. Well, I suppose since you've put it out on the table, Mr. Phoenix, right? You might as well answer the question for us. Where was the witness at the time of the murder? There's a chance, Phoenix. Yeah. The only person who could have killed Dr. Gray was Eeny Miney. So now is the time to prove it. Now then, Mr. Wright, let's hear your answer. Where was the witness when the murder took place? Ja. Dann muss ja hier drin sein, ne? Miss Miney was here, of course. What? Well, but, but that's the channeling chamber. Isn't that the crime scene? That's right. Miss Miney was at the scene of the crime. Order, order, order! That's right, that is... Ow! Mr. Phoenix Wright, have you lost your mind? Yesterday's testimony established that... Only the victim and the defendant were in the chamber when the channeling started. Yes, yes, that is correct. Please explain yourself, Mr. Wright. Simple. Miss Inimani was hiding at the scene of the crime. I... I was hiding... Where? Like, where was I hiding? Ja, dann... Es gibt, es gibt nicht viele Orte, wo man sich verstecken kann. Here, of course. B behind the folding screen? Ah! Don't make me say this again. Recall yesterday's testimony. There ain't no way anyone was hanging out behind the phone screen. See, you stupid jerk. Quit being so quick to pin it on me, slimeball. Now, now, Miss Miney. One so young as you shouldn't be saying. Shut it, Gramps, as if you know exactly how old I am. I'm sorry. Looks like the pipe's about to burst. Guess I should help it along. The pipe's about to burst, Phoenix. D darf ich ein bisschen über deine... Okay, never mind. Oh, krasse moves. The witness was hiding behind the folding screen with the help of this. With the help of this. With the help of the folding screen. She was hiding behind the, the, fo the folding screen. Um, she had hinterm Schlüssel versteckt. Um, ne, natürlich ist sie in die Vase gekrochen und hat sich so versteckt. Deshalb ist die Vase auch kaputt gegangen. Perth hat, ge hat gelogen. Also, ne, sie ist natürlich in die Clothing Box reingekrabbelt. Miss Miney. How were you able to hide yourself at the scene of the crime is very simple. You were hiding inside this box. Ah, uh, that tiny little box. No person could fit in that. Bam, 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 bam. Sorry, but your theory has already been disproved. A lot of disproved you when she was hiding from me in it. Um... But that closing box was in the side room, right? Which means it has nothing to do with the murder at all. Th that's right, I was sleeping there, so I should know. That clothing box was there in the side room the whole time. Hmm. Mr. Wright, do you think you can prove that the clothing box was at the time of the crime? Yes, I can with some evidence. Ba, ba, ba. Ba, da, ba, ba, ba. And now I present the piece of evidence that will prove this clothing box was at the scene of the crime when the murder took place. The clothing box itself. Daisy had noch drin. Loch gesagt. Take a look at this clothing box. You're so stupid as if there's any sort of evidence in that old thing. D this what on earth? 
Oh. I don't have time for you to sit there surprised. Hurry up and say it already. There, there's a hole about eight inches off the ground. Hmm. A hole about eight inches off the ground. Where have we heard that before? Uh, there's a folding screen. It had a hole at the same height. That's right. I hope this has opened your eyes to what happened. At the time of the shooting, the clothing box was sitting behind the folding screen. Which is why the bullet from the pistol hit the box, uh, hit both the box and the folding screen. It went through the screen and then into the box. Oh. Miss Miney, you were hiding behind the folding screen waiting for your chance. Yes, for your chance to kill Dr. Gray. Oh, wait, my... Wenn jemand da reingeschossen hat, wäre sie da nicht angeschossen? I mean, es mag zwar genug Platz drin haben, aber das wäre ja trotzdem ziemlich eng da drin. Eng da drin. Da, da wird sie doch safe angeschossen, wenn da, was, wenn da eine Kugel reinfliegt. Um. Ah! Ich darf wieder A sagen. Ja! Order, order! So, what are you saying? Then, Mr. Phoenix Wright, what about this picture? Are you saying that the person in this photo is Miss Eeny Miney? That is exactly what I am saying. Hmm. Okay. Miss Eeny Miney, you were hiding inside this clothing box all along. And you wore a medium's costume to masquerade as Maya Fey. To, to masquerade as Maya Fey? She had it planned from the very beginning. She would kill Dr. Gray and pin the blame on my client. Ich hab grad gelesen on my child. Um, okay. <laughs> no, s stop. I can't stand to listen to any more of this foolishness. If that's the case, Mr. Phoenix Wright, then I have a proposition. This whole idea of the witness moved... Uh, that the witness moved the closing box to the crime scene, pretended to be the defendant, killed the victim, and then fled the scene of the crime. It's not possible for one person to do all that by herself. Um... Uh, Morgan könnte natürlich geholfen haben. Ähm, muss ja eigentlich auch, stimmt. Oder? Nee, nicht unbedingt, ne? Sie war ja. Sie war tatsächlich nie in Kontakt mit ihr, oder? Also während, während dem Mord, ne? Aber wir drücken mal Crack is impossible. It really is impossible. For one person to do all the preparations, that is. Ow. Need I to remind you the foolish receive no mercy? Wait. Miss von Karma, you said it was not possible for one person, correct? Well, you can't be serious. <sighs> Miss Miney, you had an accomplice. The folding screen. <laughs> okay. Um, die Tante. Uh, this person. If it wasn't someone from Korean Village, you couldn't have gotten the costume. Gut, war das Kostüm nicht in der Kleiderbox? Egal. Egal. And if it wasn't someone from the Fay household, you wouldn't have that box to use. Ach so, okay. M Morgan Fay. Isn't that a wonderful lady witness uh, we had earlier? What do you have to say to this, Miss Miney? You shot Dr. Gray with your own two hands. Do you deny it? I think this is what really happened. 
The murderer had planted herself at the scene of the crime long beforehand. Dressed in a medium's costume and wearing a wig, she pretended to be the defendant. And then the channeling started. The murderer crept silently towards the, the other two, both of whom had their eyes closed. First she drugged Maya Fey with a strong sleeping agent. Then she stabbed Dr. Gray with the knife. Next she hid my client inside the clothing box. She did that so she could take Maya's place and frame her for the crime. Achso, sie war draußen, als geschossen wurde. Gut, das erklärt's natürlich. Dann wurde niemand angeschossen in der Box. Ich trinke nochmal ein Schlöckchen. Sorry. Ich muss mehr trinken in den Aufnahmen. <lacht> so. But that's when something unexpected happened. Uh, unexpected? Yes. Ah. Dr. Gray was actually not yet a dead. With the last of his strength, he fired a shot at his attacker. And that is why the hole in the folding screen was so low on the, to the ground. Ach so. Oh, Dr. Gray hat Maya verteidigt. Sweet. <laughs> the murderer then took the gun from Dr. Gray and... Bada bang. After that, you and the other lady fought to break into the room. Yes, a gunshot is certainly something you wouldn't expect to hear. Which is why upon hearing the shots, we forced our way into the channeling chamber. Mm -hmm. Miss Miney, she immediately covered her, bl her own costume with blood. Ah, okay, I see. Und dann hat Morgan ihnen geholfen, das Ganze zu covern. Okay, ja. Yeah. Ich, ich lasse Phoenix weiter explain hier. Sorry. <laughs> and pretended to be Maya Fey. But, but that sort of deception would have been easy to see through. Which is precisely why Miss Morgan Fey chased us out. Please leave this area to me. Go quickly and inform the police. Hurry before there are more victims here. What is one supposed to say? This is the real truth behind this murder. I guess that's it. Ha. Ha 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 ha. Who is that laughing at a time like this? Ah! Oh, you simple-minded fools. I'm sorry, are you still by chance evolving? What is it this time? M Miss von Karma? Surely... Of course it was me. Do you really think someone of von Karma blood would lose due to something this petty? What in the world? Okay, was hat sie jetzt denn wieder? Mr. Phoenix right. Your argument is flawed in one very crucial area. And that is? If this witness is the real murderer, why would she go through all this trouble? Huh? Working together with a medium, pretending to be one, putting on this whole act. What reason would she have to do such, a foolish, such foolish things? Uh, well, that's, uh... Yeah, that's right. That's exactly what I was gonna say. Oh, and one other thing. Why would Miss Inimani want to kill Dr. Gray? Where is her motive? Na gut, das ist nicht so schwierig. Weil Dr. Gray ja scheinbar ihre Schwester in, in den Ruin getrieben hat, sozusagen sie überarbeitet hat, etc. Ähm, und sie deswegen sich das Leben nahm oder so. Oder sie deswegen umkam, weil sie überarbeitet war. Ähm, beziehungsweise, nee, sie, sie behauptet ja, 
Dr. Grey hätte sie gedruckt. So, so dass sie halt einen Unfall hat. Um, yeah, that's exactly what I wanted to say too. Yeah, motive. I have no... I don't have a motive. A motive? That's... can't say she has no motive here. I have to think of a motive now. What is her reason for wanting Dr. Grey dead? Yeah. The reason you wanted Dr. Grey dead is this. Uh, your sister, had ich gesagt. Oder warte, haben wir einen Artikel, der das, der das behauptet? Um, kann ich den... Kann ich nicht angucken. Patient died from my practice. Uh, jein. Um, car accident. A highway of, the, of nightmares. Um, driver had fallen asleep at the wheel. Totally tired and dropped off. Blah, blah, blah. Don't remember anything else. If Miss Miney is to believe, the one driving the car was her sister. Miss Miney was the nurse and where patients overdosed to their death. Is this just a weird coincidence? Okay, das, das sagt aber nichts, dass sie scheinbar gedruckt wurde vom, vom, vom Grey. Das heißt, das kann ich eigentlich auch nicht drücken. Soll ich dann einfach... Ähm... Soll ich dann einfach ihr Profil drücken, ihre Schwester, als sie Rache für ihre Schwester wollte? Ich probiere es. Ha. Just as I thought, you bore me with your silly answers, Phoenix, right? That's great. Now even she is calling me by my full name. You think I did this to get revenge for my sister's death? Yes. Because through that accident you suffered a lot of hurt and pain yourself. Don't be stupid. No one has proof that Dr. Grey drugged my sister, right? And you want to say I wanted to take revenge based on nothing? What do you mean by that? See now, stupid gramps. I'm like going to explain, so like, please listen, okay? It's been over half a year since I was discharged from the hospital. If I like wanted revenge, then like I wouldn't have waited this long. Um, and besides, like. The guy that thought of the spirit thing was like Dr. Gray. It was like a total coincidence. He asked me about it, you know? He's back to her airhead persona. persona. However, you see... Ow! Pathetic, Mr. Phoenix Wright. You fail to support your own theory. The end. Schon wieder. I think we have our answer, Mr. Phoenix, right? What Miss Miney has stated is very true. The revenge plan is overly complicated, and she has no motive in the first place. Furthermore, there is no reason for Miss Morgan Fay to cooperate with this plan. You don't even have any truly decisive piece of evidence to demonstrate your point. <laughs> so many thoughts, Mr. Phoenix, right? You should, you should really learn your place. Uh, what happened? I, I thought I had it for sure. <laughs> See, like, it's just as I, like, told you. Huh? I hope you like your slice of humble pie. Very well. I now conclude the cross-examination of Miss Eenie Miney. Uh... Come from Mia, maybe? Ah. Love you. Your Honor, please allow the defense one more minute. Uh, all right. You can't lose here. Have faith in yourself, Phoenix. Mia. Yes, it does sound like a ridiculously messed up plan for a murder. But you know, regardless of that girl uh, trained for this crime, uh, regardless, that girl trained for this crime. Really? Listen, Phoenix. Everything happens for a reason. There is a reason for why she had to kill Dr. Grey. And it's also the reason she had no choice but to kill him in this fashion. 
she had to kill him. Sie musste. Also war es auch nichts Emotionales. Hm. Time's up, Mr. Wright. Your final answer, please. If you want to say that you can prove Miss Miney had a motive, then... Why did she kill the victim in this way? Can you provide a reason? Can I... Can I really do this? Ah, ich lehne mich kurz zurück. Okay. Bisschen nachdenken. Warum muss sie Dr. Gray töten? Warum würde sie Dr. Gray töten müssen? Vielleicht... Mh, vielleicht wollte sie nicht dass Dr. Gray mit ihrer Schwester spricht. Vielleicht. Äh, wenn, wenn, wenn sie schon sagen, sie, sie muss sie töten, wie gesagt, es ist, dann ist es kein emotionales Motiv, sondern es ist irgendetwas, das halt maybe nicht ans Licht darf oder so. Das heißt, es würde Sinn machen, dass sie nicht hätte wollen, wollen, <lacht> dass sie nicht gewollt hätte, dass Dr. Gray vielleicht mit ihrer Schwester spricht. Nur ist die Frage, warum? Ähm, denn dann müsste sie ihn töten. Ähm ja, das Warum ist halt immer noch. Ähm Warum? Ja, also ist ja obvious, ich muss mal tippen, yes I can. Thanks Obama. Ähm I am not totally confident here, but I know that I must press on no matter what. Yeah, you know, exactly what I thought. That's right, Phoenix. Only you can do this now. Ich bin aber trotzdem noch unsicher, äh, womit wir das jetzt bestreiten, diesen Kampf. Um, I will show and substantiate the fact that Miss Miney had a motive. <laughs> too bad, you're too late. My cross-examination has already ended after all. Ah! Interesting. I'll let you have your chance, Mr. Phoenix Wright. What? What? You're supposed to be on my side! Ah! If on Karma only cares about a perfect win. As long as you have the will to fight, I will knock you down, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Okay, also. Von Karma ist die gute Francie, ja, sie ist, sie ist nicht böse. Sie ist einfach nur ein Perfektionist, ja. Von daher hat sie uns diesmal schon wieder den Arsch gerettet. Das ist, glaube ich, schon das zweite Mal, dass sie sowas abzieht. Dass sie uns nochmal eine Chance gibt. Ehrenfrau. Hashtag Ehrenfrau. <lacht> ähm. Ja, dann mal gucken, Phoenix. Ich hoffe, ich muss nicht selber nachdenken. And I don't care if you are my witness. So help me. I will... So help me. I will throw you out of my way. No way. Very well. The court will take a five minute recess. We will continue the cross-examination after we reconvene. Hey, wait a sec. I... Okay, or it's ended ever abrupt here to be continued. Yeah. Äh. Ja. Dann, äh, Gibt's die Fortsetzung wohl im nächsten Part. Wundert mich jetzt, dass es jetzt noch eine. Noch eine Pause gibt, weil viel gibt's ja jetzt nicht mehr zu bereden. Denke ich mal. Oder? <lacht> ähm. Na naja, gut. Ähm, wie dem auch sei. Das war's mit diesem Part. Ich, äh, wir sind der Sache ein Stück näher gekommen. Ich bin nur noch ein bisschen planlos, wie wir das Motiv erklären wollen beziehungsweise warum sie Dr. Gray getötet haben muss, das ist halt noch offen. Wie gesagt, ich vermute, dass irgendwas damit zu tun hat, dass er nicht ihre Schwester kontaktieren durfte oder so, aber ich wüsste nicht warum, sonst fällt mir irgendwie nichts ein. Aber wir werden es natürlich herausfinden, und zwar im nächsten Part. Ich hoffe, es hat euch gefallen und dann würde ich sagen, 
Bis zum nächsten Mal. Macht's gut, Leute. Und ciao.